Hello, I'm Melanie Earhart from Independent Hill Library, and today I hope to teach you how to sit down and be able to use this baby lock sewing machine. So join me as we go through how to thread it, uh, put in a needle, and all the other things you need to work the sewing machine. So when you unpack the sewing machine, you will have the actual machine and the pedal that actually makes the machine work as well as two different plugs. So the first is that you will take this plug and it goes right here, right here into this side of the machine. You just shove that in. Then you take the pedal and you place it on the floor. And then lastly, we're just gonna plug this into the wall. Right next to where this plugs in, there is an on and off switch. And when you turn it on, immediately it will light up. So now we're ready to begin. Before starting any project, you will need a spool of thread and a bobbin. The bobbin will be filled with either this, the same thread you're using on top, or some people like to buy pre-wound bobbins, which would make this point moot, but just in case, we're going to wind this bobbin with this thread. The purpose of the bobbin thread and this thread is so that the machine interlocks the two threads to make a complete stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the thread there. We're going to put this here so that it doesn't fly off as we're using it. We are going to take this thread and wrap it right around this silver and see you want to get it between this piece and this piece. And then we want to just pull it and on the bobbin, there are holes. You have four to choose from. And what you do is you just, just in case, you just take the thread and you just poke it through a hole. Usually it's not this hard, but I am doing this on camera, so it's going to take longer. Okay, so then we take it and we place it right on there, okay? And then we firmly push that. And then what we do is we take this and we pull it out. What this does by pulling out this piece, um, this normally will make the needle go up and down, but by pulling it out, we have disengaged it so that as we begin, we're not engaging the needle moving. Now what we want to do is we want to hold the thread taut, put our foot on the pedal, and the bobbin will now, um, the thread is now filling up on this bobbin spool. Normally, what we would do is we would wait until enough thread has been put on this bobbin until it pushes against this little round plastic piece and then it'll stop it and actually push this, thus disengaging it. But we don't have to spend all that time. So what we'll do is we will imagine that we have filled this entire bobbin. And now we will go on to taking the bobbin, putting it in here, and threading the machine. So now we're going to thread the machine. We will take the thread, and now, last time with the bobbin we used this, but this time we are going to put it right here into this where this arrow is and it will just slide in and then we are going to take the thread and we're going to 
make it travel under that loop and we are going to have it go so that it is, you'll see that it's all the way down into this little silver piece. Then we're going to make it travel down and then there's just the teeniest, see this little kind of hook right here. See where my fingernail is? We want to bring the thread through there and then I have unfortunately used a lot of thread to do this and that happens. But now I am going to thread this needle. Yeah, hold on. Sometimes I put the presser foot down and there we go. Now we're going to pull the thread through. This lever right here raises this presser foot up or down and we're just going to pull the thread back here. Now we're going to take the bobbin and place it into this chamber. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go like this. And this, this black just, if you push it, it just releases it. Then we're going to just drop our bobbin in. Now, there is a spot right here that has a, there's a little gap here. And we are going to take that thread, put it into that gap, and draw it this way, okay? And then we're going to pull it back here. And then we are going to just fit these teeth into that, those slots. and it just pops into place. Now, we're almost there. So now we have these two threads that are coming, one from the top and one from the bottom. We are going to put a finger on them and hold them tight. And then we are going to turn the wheel on the side of the machine that will allow the, you see the needle going down and then up and it's engaging the bobbin thread. Now, we will take the thread that is coming from the needle and we will gently pull it up. And if we've done things correctly, we will see a little bit of a loop here. And here, here's the loop. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna pull that loop forward. And now the bobbin thread is coming out of this hole right here and it is now engaged with the spool of thread that's been run through the machine. And so now we are ready to sew. We have some dials on the machine. Uh, this would be how wide a stitch you're going to have and three is a fairly nice uh, size. We are going to just be using a straight stitch which is the B or the A and that's what we have it set on. And then the length is also, we're going to set it on a two. Um, the, the, the smaller the number, the bigger the stitch uh, on this machine and it will eventually um, get smaller. So right now we're gonna be at a two. You would take your fabric and you would place it under the presser foot. Now, it all depends what type of seam you're doing, whether it's a quarter inch, a five eighths inch, or wh whatever seam allowance you're going to have. But for our purposes today, we're just going to align it with the presser foot. So we place the fabric here. Remember this little lever here puts the presser foot down. We are going to, just before we start, make sure we're holding our threads in place so that they don't knot up. And we will lightly put our foot on the pedal 
as we begin to sew. And let's say we're ready to stop, but we want to reinforce the end stitches so that they do not pull apart. Okay, we're gonna put our finger on this lever. We're gonna depress it. And then we are going to take a couple stitches and that makes the machine go backwards. To remove the fabric from the machine, it's always best to have uh, this portion of the machine at its highest. And then we use this lever to once again raise the presser foot. We pull the thread away. I would say at least six to eight inches. And then we cut and then we're ready to use it again. Always remember that when you begin stitching, put, a fing put fingers on the threads so that they remain taut as you start stitching. If not, when they're loose, they could all be end up getting all knotted at the back of your fabric, and that's not what you want. So let's say all of a sudden we find some hesitation in the needle, or maybe you've forgotten to remove a pin and the needle has broken. To change the needle, you will take this side wheel and you will raise the needle to its highest position. We're going to raise the presser foot and now what we are going to do is we see this nice black screw here. We are going to loosen it up and very gently pull out the needle. Okay. We will promptly throw away that needle and replace it. Now there are different size needles for the different fabrics you would be using and you will notice that there is a side that is perfectly flat as opposed to a side that's rounded. The edge that is perfectly flat, this edge here that's perfectly flat, always is put towards the back of this little chamber. And what you are doing is you are just, oh, okay. We are just shoving that needle up into there. And you put it up as high as it will get, and then you quickly tighten the screw. Now we will just re-thread the needle Oh, one tip, um, if you're having difficulty threading the needle, your first thought might be to wet the thread. I would suggest you not. Actually, wetting the thread makes the thread expand and become thicker. Uh, it sounds counterintuitive, but the best way would be is if you put a little water on the needle and the water will actually draw the thread through. So that's just a little tip there. 